So please help me welcome to the stage our Executive Director of Family Heritage Alliance, Norman Woods. Would you give him a warm welcome? Well, hey, everybody. Um, Norman Woods, first of all, there's no hidden message. It's a direct message. Yes, we're three months away from the due date, so we're going to be parents here soon. So we're excited and also a little intimidated. Um, but before we jump into things tonight, I want to just start by saying thanks. Um, because of what we've been doing together, because of the work we've been doing in your partnership, we've been able to do some really cool things. You know, if you look back, we've been able to play a role in the best homeschool bill the nation has seen in over 20 years. We've been able to stop some really dangerous parental rights legislation. We've been a part of passing some really cool religious liberty protections. This year, we were able to produce the most comprehensive legislative voter guide in the state. So I really want to say thanks for all the partnership and for everything that we've been able to do together. I'm going to do a couple things. Yes, it's worth clapping for. We've done a lot of cool things together. And we've been able to do this because we're working on three things together. We're building a community where Christians can learn together about the controversial issues of the day. We're building a platform where they can make their voice heard in the halls of government and a place where they can work to elect strong leaders who will represent them well. In my head, there's three different icons that keep popping up as we explain this thing, and they all work together. Practically speaking, at the top, that community of believers, that looks like the events we hold, the luncheons, the research, the research we're able to do, the resources we put out, the blogs, the emails, the social media, the videos, the community learning together. The platform to make our voice heard. Practically speaking, that's FHA Action, those C4 um, the C4 organization. That looks like me and Debbie going to the Capitol, working full-time to bring your voice to peer, but also sending you action alerts back. Here's the bills that are up. Here's who you need to contact. Here's what's important to know, so that you know who to contact and when. And then that last thing, the little check mark, working to elect strong leaders. Practically speaking, that looks like voter guides, scorecards, and election work. So in my head, as we look at all these three things, that they work together and they build off of each other. As we look over the last year, there's one story that really stands out to me as the best example of this working and working well. So if we rewind to about this time last year, we knew there was going to be a really dangerous bill coming to the Capitol on the topic of parental rights. And just the way it was written, it would have been a really bad idea. So we started mobilizing the grassroots, educating on the issue. We made a plan. We made a legislative plan for how we thought we could defeat this bill, and we run into session. It worked, but that's not the coolest part. So it's towards the end of session, and for those of you that have been at the Capitol, you know towards the end it starts to slow down a little bit, unless you're working on budget, and then good luck. So it's at that part where it's slowing down just a little bit, where most of the legislators have enough time to, to really have a conversation just casually. So I'm sitting down, working on my laptop, and one of our champions comes and sits down beside me. And he goes, you know, I don't know. I've been up here a long time. Because I've been up here a lot of years. And I've gotten used to this whole idea of thinking I'm going to win, but losing. Because I've gotten used to that. I'm not used to thinking I'm going to lose, but actually winning. He goes, so whoever came up with the legislative strategy this year, he goes, it was brilliant. And then he walks off. He didn't know that it was our team. He just wanted to tell somebody that he thought it was brilliant. And so there's not very often times where you can say, OK, we did this, and it resulted in this. But it was one of those super clear stories of those three icons working together. So before we look, at, we look forward where we want to go, you know, when we talk about these battles of religious liberty, parental rights, education options, the sanctity of life, whenever we talk about where we're going next, we oftentimes feel like we're David and Goliath, right? We feel like we're that little boy who was bringing his brother's lunch, had his slingshot with him. Saul's armor was too big, and so it was just you know him and his tunic and a slingshot. And if you Google you know, David and Goliath, literally just hit it on Google, this image is the first one that'll pop up. And that's what we think of, right? That's what we were taught in Sunday school. The problem is we were taught the story all wrong. And we know this by the conversation between David and Saul. How does David start off? King, I've killed a lion and a bear with my bare hands. 
He was a little boy. He was strong and he was skilled. And when, when Saul said, okay, sure, give it a shot, he wasn't saying, okay, go try. He was putting his army at stake because tradition was whoever lost that battle between the two people lost the entire battle. The other army surrenders. So Saul was not flippantly saying, give it a shot. He was putting that much confidence in David. And the Bible never says that the armor didn't fit him. David told Saul, it doesn't suit me. Another translation, I'm not used to it. We have no evidence that David was a little tiny boy with a little pebble. And you know why he told Saul, I'm not used to the armor, it doesn't suit me? It's because you can't do this wearing a full suit of armor. These boys are out of Iran. Was David a little pebble chucker? <laughs> There's a rock at your table. Somebody pick it up and then pass it around. That's the size and the weight. Some of them aren't very round, but that's the weight of the rock that David was prepared to chuck at the giant. Now that you've felt that rock, let's watch this video again. And make sure to listen. In the first two clips, you can hear the crack of the sling in the air. And then that third one, listen, as a rock that size, listen to the thud against the rubber target. Let's watch it again. The message of David and Goliath is not that, hey, it doesn't matter how small you are, it doesn't matter how weak you are, if you just show up, God will give you victory. That's not the message. The message is that a well-trained warrior acting in obedience will achieve victory. Amen. If we want to defeat the marijuana industry this year, and stop the castration of little kids next year at the Capitol, and stop the abortion industry in 2024, we cannot be pebble truckers. And I think you're here tonight because you don't have any interest in that either. You realize that we need to be a strong, trained team of fighters. For us, there's several expansions that we as an organization, practically speaking, need to do to move forward in that to become David. Because again, we don't get to say, hey, I feel like David. No, you don't feel like David, you become David. David. Have you trained enough to be David? Are you skilled enough to have become David? For us as an organization, you know, those three icons you remember, if you see the check mark that was at the bottom with our voter guide, this year we thought, hey, we'll print 100 si yard signs. That'll be a fun expansion. We'll get the word out. We had people asking for over 700 yard signs but didn't have the budget to print them all. We had people ready to distribute over 700 yard signs but just didn't have the budget. We could only print about 230. We need to expand. Kind of working that backwards. You remember the emblem of the Capitol at the top? You know, Debbie and I, we work real hard and we're able to do some really cool things at the Capitol. We work a minimum of 60 hours a week. You know, I know the legislators are like, yeah, cute, I work 80, 90, whatever it is. Minimum of 60, we work as hard as we can. It's sun up to sundown until we fall asleep. But here's the deal. To be totally honest, how many marijuana bills were, were brought this last year? Over 40? We just didn't have the workload to even touch them. There was one out-of-state company who hired an in-state lobbyist. It was one against the 10 marijuana industry lobbyists. They wanted full recreational, full everything. We're simply outgunned. We need to expand our team at the Capitol, our, our workforce. And that's, again, through FHA action. And going back to that, the community of believers. It's a really cool thing happened last year. We had a donor give us a $50,000 communications grant. What this meant was we basically had a full-time communications team helping us build an infrastructure through emails, videos, social media, everything to communicate better, and it worked. But it was a one-year gift. Now, it doesn't take 50 to keep it running. The infrastructure is built, but we need to raise the funds to continue that because essentially we've become a Christian news source here in South Dakota this last year. We need to rise up to meet it. 
So these are just a few, practically speaking, ways that we as an organization need to expand. <laughs> just to keep building that circle stronger and stronger and stronger. As we leave the idea of being a pebble chucker behind, and as we continually grow to be closer and closer to the image of biblical David, we have no interest in Sunday school David. We just need you to partner with us and we need your help. And if you have, um, some of you at your table, you have a voice of the family, a certain letter, um, that's a specific ask. But that's why we're here tonight. Because I think all of you are ready to be biblical David as well. Because when it comes to our families here in South Dakota, we've got something worth fighting for. So thank you for being here tonight.